Filipowski takes the ball down the floor off an Isaac McNeely miss. He tries to get post position on Jordan Minor. He ducks inside. He misses. He grabs his own rebound and scores. And that's big. I, I like the initial surge. Every team in college basketball is better off of a made shot when you get your defense back and get set. They may be dramatically so, though. The slowest tempo team in America. And they get a basket from Ryan Dunn on the lob from Reese Beekman. You had an easy 28 time to get at Pittman High School. Yeah, exactly. High Proctor, school. little oopsie daisy. Tyrese Proctor in the lane, and Duke has scored on its opening four possessions. The way be showcased. That's an easy one. Whoa, oh, it was was an easy one, and then Dunn missed it. He missed two, in fact, and Beekman nearly had a third assist. Filipowski against the freshman Blake Buchanan. Terrific find for Proctor. All set up by Mitchell Cutting. Coach K court the dominance over the last few decades and you're not just playing against the players on the floor It's almost like you're playing against the history of players that have come before these guys And I think that all adds to what makes this place special John Shire has been playing much bigger the last couple of games without Caleb Foster as Filipowski on the deck squirted it to Roach little tick tick toe with Stewart Toe? Is this what you called it? Uh -huh. Maybe a little ping pong, give and go. What do we want to call it? Either way, transition's been a problem, and Duke continues to roll. Well, let her fly. They go in. Good luck. That's Stewart. Nice. Terrific find. Filipowski's got 13, and Sean Stewart playing really good minutes, a freshman in the first half. It's on the game. It's been a master class. You can play to individual strengths, and it's really tough to cover. And even Ryan Young getting after it down low in the row. Wow, man. Wow. With tenths of a second remaining on the shot clock. And, and you look, there's two guys covering the basketball. You just have to make yourself present. And where you're present, where, where you should be present is where you can get a catch. This is game 151 in the career for Ryan Young. And he hasn't played a ton this season, but you think he'll be a big part for them down the stretch, right? It was big right there as he gave it to Mitchell for the easy two. Active eyeballs, kind of feeling the game, makes the right play. In a sea of waving hands. What about Andy, Andy Katz, who's right in front of Look him? Look out, Phil, a posty! And here's one of them yeah. from Kyle Filipowski. You got really excited about this one. I almost was talking through it. They're four for 22. He's hit two field goals. He's assisted the other two. Here's Dunn. Mm. Dunn gets free. A screen for Buchanan, and Ryan Dunn smashes the first Virginia field goal. He's going to be the guy that it's not really going to get passes taken away. Look, even if Virginia's down big, and even if their odds of winning this game are insurmountable, as McNeely hits a three, the second half really matters because the net takes yes. margin of victory into account. Something you have to adjust to throughout the course of the season. Here's a steal off the hands of Dunn into the hands of Roach. Here comes Proctor with a jam. Defensive end, they're able to make things happen, including this, right? Breakout plays. There's, and I appreciate your perspective on this, there's fun, there's safety. Can we do both at the same time? I think we yes, can, we as can. Dunn stuffs it in and gets Virginia back within 21. Sorry for my, my, my rant. No, don't be sorry for your honest opinions. I, I think... I'm people's not, opinions not, have changed a week yeah, later well, when it happens in the moment people have a tendency to react and can we think about this can conferences think about this can schools put together a plan as Filipowski finishes because you can tell students not to do it they're going to keep doing it yeah. Filipowski having a fantastic game by the way 17 and 6 tonight as Duke is all over UVA and gets a steal from McCain it's McCain left-handed for his second basket. Yeah, that position is seal position for a feed in the post, but it's also a rebounding position where he's been very present. Rody throws it right into the hands of Sean Stewart, <laughs> who then loses it back. Beekman off the steal, and Beekman will score. Well, Beekman has tremendous instincts. He's, already, he's also been very well coached, and that's a great find for McNeely in transition. UVA does not get a lot of transition baskets, and they're going to take a timeout to kind of control this thing, slow it down a little bit, down 22. I think that's something that the Duke program still, still showcases. Turn around for Proctor, boy. Duke has hit some open shots, and Duke has hit some contested shots. Well, there comes a point where you're just playing ball, and Duke right now is able to just play ball, have fun, kind of explore some things, including a trap here. Beekman. 
Passes it across the entire length of Durham to set up Groves for a three. You talk to shoot around about how hard it is to guard the flare screen, re-screen yes. Virginia does so well. We haven't seen them have well, a lot of success tonight with it. I think part of it's, wow, McCain. They're going to count it. 5-8 wearing the double nickels. That's awesome. right. He hit a three against Louisville Wednesday. The crowd went bananas. TJ Power will hit his second three. Hubbard, every time he touches the ball, they're going to lose their minds in the cabin crazies. There's Young into the body of Groves. Young finds Stewart. He finds the rim ferociously. One more time. I mean, this is just pure vert. You know, what a win this is for Duke. It is. And what a statement of intent going into the final week of the regular season. 73-48 the final.